Are you surprised the president didn't call for your resignation? As I said Did earlier. Did you tell your staff you received the diagnosis, yes or no? Uh, no, I did not. Okay. You would go three, that the president would go three days without knowing that his secretary of defense is, is not on the job. Okay. When did your staff find out you were at the hospital? I, I don't know when, uh, when... You don't know when you told your staff that you were at the hospital? Uh, are you kidding me? Mr. Secretary, our, 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 our adversaries should fear us. And what you've done has embarrassed us. If any American worker did what you did, they would be fired. For being with us today. Cancer is a serious illness and we wish you the best in your recovery. I've been disappointed today in some of the responses. I do want to ask a question is when did you first receive your diagnosis? It was early December. And then who did you tell, did you tell your staff when you received di the diagnosis? I, I did not. Again, uh, as I said did earlier. Did you tell your staff you received the diagnosis, yes or no? Uh, no, I did not. Okay. Um, when did you learn that you needed surgery? Well, as soon as that diagnosis was made, you know, you have... Okay, and then when did you, did you um, tell your staff you needed surgery? When you found out you needed surgery, did you then inform your staff that you needed I, I didn't, surgery? I didn't tell my staff that I needed surgery. Um, when did you schedule the surgery? Uh, it was uh, mid-December. Okay, and that was the December 22nd surgery? Yes. When you scheduled the surgery, did you tell your staff you had a surgery scheduled? I, I did not. Um, is... When you go under surgery for prostate cancer, do you need to be like totally knocked out, right? You can't be awake for the surgery. You have to be totally unconscious, right, incapacitated, you, right? You, yes or no? You, that's right. Okay, thank you. And then um, the date of the first surgery was December 22nd. At what point did you tell your staff you were going under the knife and going to be unconscious and incapacitated? Uh, again, uh, I... Did you tell your staff that you were in the hospital and going to be under the knife? I, I have admitted that uh, that I didn't get this right. I should have notified the president of my uh, no, no, of I'm, my my I'm, cancer diagnosis and my. So uh, you didn't inform your staff in December when you had the December surgery that you were going to be incapacitated at all. I uh, I knew I was going to be incapacitated, and I transferred authorities to the to the okay. deputy secretary. And then they had this emergency event. Well, that was January one. That's correct. What time of day did that happen? Um, late afternoon. And then did you tell your staff late afternoon when it happened, what was happening? Uh, I didn't. My concern there was, uh, was getting to the hospital. You did not tell your staff that you were on the way to the hospital. That, that's right. Okay. When did your staff find out you were at the hospital? Um, I, I don't know when, uh, when. You don't know when you told your staff that you were at the hospital. Are you kidding me? I, I again, uh, as a as a patient this in a is, hospital this is, undergoing this is, a, you're a the, they are, okay. Okay, let me just back up. I have a minute and a half. If any American worker did what you did, they would be fired. Uh, and they aren't the number two in the chain of command of the greatest and most lethal fighting force in the world. And here you are, you're not informing anybody on your staff that this is happening, let alone the President of the United States, let alone the delay to the Joint Chiefs of Staff, let alone the delay to the Deputy Secretary. What happens? Now, I didn't serve, most of my family has served. So can you please tell me, in just a few seconds, when a soldier goes AWOL, when they wear the uniform, when they, when they put their lives on the line for our nation, for you, what happens when they go AWOL? What is the punishment? Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't equate uh, my going to the hospital and receiving treatment uh, Being going incapacitated AWOL. as a secretary here, yes, is going AWOL. So you don't equate disappearing, being incapacitated with being AWOL. 
I didn't disappear. I was in a, a military but you didn't tell, uh, medical you didn't tell facility your you just, in Washington, D.C. You just testified you didn't tell your staff. Did you not? You just testified. What happens when a soldier goes AWOL? I have well, 20 seconds. What well, happens when a soldier goes AWOL? We have to realize that, you know, I have a large, uh, a fairly large... Are they honorably or dishonorably discharged? Are they put into the brig? Are they... Well, what happens? Seriously, you're not even answering the questions. I'm not going to rest until, until someone, we should not rest, until someone is held accountable. I am, I am deeply disappointed in your response Thank expired. you, and I yield back. Let, let me ask Critical you this. Well, on on January 2nd, while you were in the hospital, President Biden was vacationing in the Caribbean. Your deputy, who the president didn't even know had operational control, was on a beach in Puerto Rico. Uh, one year ago, you told me in this hearing room you had no regrets about what happened in Afghanistan. Do you, re do you regret what happened here? I I've said that uh, we didn't get this right, uh, uh, Congressman, and uh, we put measures in place to ensure that the notification process uh, is improved going forward. Mr. Secretary, we, who, who will be the, held the accountable? The transfer of authority uh, was... Uh, who will happened. be held accountable for this? This, Again, embar this embarrassment. Again, I take full responsibility, and we put measures in place to, uh, uh, to address uh, the, uh, the shortcomings. Are you surprised the president didn't call for your resignation? I'm surprised, but are you surprised that he didn't call for your the resignation? The president has expressed, expressed full faith and confidence in me. So you're not surprised that he didn't call for your resignation. Is it typical that the president would go three days without talking to his secretary of defense? Is that typical, or is that a regular posture? Do you usually go days without talking to the commander? In I mean, that can happen. It depends on if, whether or not the president's uh, on, on, uh, on travel, if I'm on travel. Uh, th there are times when we, we do go days without direct communication. So the, the big issue for me here is either the president is that aloof or you are irrelevant. Wh which one is it, Mr. Secretary? That, you would go three, that the president would go three days without knowing that his secretary of defense is, is not on the job. It's neither. Uh, the president is not aloof, and uh, and I am. Uh, I participate in uh, in all of the. Uh, uh, let, let me ask you this: well, on, on January second, while you were in the hospital, President Biden was vacationing in the Caribbean. Your deputy, who the president didn't even know had operational control, was on a beach in Puerto Rico. What kind of message does that send to our adversaries? Uh, the key piece is that, number one, uh, the deputy has uh, the ability to, uh, uh, she has access to secure communications. She has the ability to participate in decision-making uh, processes from wherever she is. Mr. Secretary, our, 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 our adversaries should fear us, and what you've done has embarrassed us. And let, let me sum this up by this. A leading Chinese propaganda outlet said that what, hap what happened to you exposed, quote, internal chaos. A leading Russian propaganda outlet said that your disappearance, quote, effectively compromised the chair. Gentleman's time's expired. Chair, I recognize the chair. You've embarrassed us. Chair, I recognize the ranking member.